It's easy. I mean, well, the the two two biggest inexcusable ones were Kiss and Rush. No, and and luckily that's been rectified in the last uh, two or three years. Deep Purple still not in. I mean, that's mm -hmm. insane. But that far course? far and away, <laughs> Deep, Deep Purple yeah. is the biggest travesty. I mean, it's... what is the most famous guitar riff of all time? Smoke in the water. Come on, it, it, it's it's a travesty. As much as Priest and so many other, you know, other groups should be in there. Let's at least start with Deep Purple. Based on the Smoke on the Water alone. Yeah, you know, I'm a huge, a huge Purple. I, see, that's a style of music I like. Purple, Sabbath, Creek, you know, that stuff I'm really into. And uh, Blackmore is a god, he ch he's the most underrated guitar player, I feel. You know, he actually changed the guitar as well. You know, people, you know, Hendrix is the man, but who came out right after Jimmy? Thing. It's the original heavy metal riff. It is. It, it is. is the heavy yeah. metal riff. Yeah. Um, and they rock, and it's internationally recognized. You can play that for anybody on the street down there. You know, they're not, you know, whether they're a metalhead or not. Everybody knows. Dun, 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 dun. He was Ingve before Ingve was Ingve. He was. I mean, scalloped neck on the guitar. He's blowing the damn thing up. You know, the things he was doing and his technique it was amazing. Roger Glover and the pace. I mean. Unbelievable. Judas Priest, because they're just the most awesome metal band ever of all time. And uh, you know, it's funny. It's just, you look at early metal bands: Deep Purple, Led Zeppelin, of course, the the originators. Even though it wasn't even technically called heavy metal then, but Judas Priest, in my opinion, definitely represents what heavy metal is. To take it even further, I mean, everybody everybody loves the Mach Two lineup. That's the classic yeah. lineup. But look at the Mach. Was it three or four? I mean, the Coverdale Hughes era as well. I mean, you know. If there's any justice, I mean, they they got they finally got Kiss and Rush in there. It's now Deep Purple's time. Come on. I mean, they are undeniably defined the genre by their look, their sound, the tones that they have, their arena-sized production that they have. I mean, on every level, they're that band. Now, if you ask them, they probably don't care. <laughs> well, I think Motorhead. You know, let me well, Ju Judas, Judas Priest, Priest, Iron Maiden, Maiden, yeah, I mean, the list will go on and on and on forever, but if we have to, pick, if you have to pick one, Purple, yes, as well, yes, belongs in there as well, but we'll be happy with Purple, just to, for starters. Absurd. And the other one might be ACDC, because okay. everybody right. knows an ACDC, right. they have a sound, I think the, the criteria is right. that they have to be a, uh, an artist of influence, um, and they, they, they're in. They're in. Oh, they are. They're in. Well, then screw them. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? This is Mike Portnoy. This is Alex Skolnick. I'm David Ellison. Mark Mengi. And we are Metal, Metal Allegiance. Allegiance. Subscribe to Louder Noise. The loudest noise on the